In the last lecture, we learned about the value and controls property of ng form object. So we learned that when we want to read the value of a form control, for that we can use the value property of the form control object and it will give us all the value of all the form controls from a given form. Then we also talked about controls property and in this controls property, each of these controls of this form will be created as an object of form control and that object will also have some properties like it has the property called disabled which says whether the form control is disabled or not. It has this invalid property which tells whether the form control has an invalid value or a valid value. Okay. In the same way, we also have this untouched property for the form control. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about the touched and untouched property and also the dirty property of a form and a form control. So a form is considered as touched if any of its control has been focused. For a touched form, its touched property will be true and its untouched property will be false. Here, currently this form is not touched because none of its controls has been focused. So you will notice that for this ng form, we have a property called touched and we also have a property called untouched. If I see the value of this touched property, currently it is false because none of its controls has been focused and its untouched property is true. Now let me go ahead and let me clear the console here and let me focus inside any one of these controls. So for example, I will focus inside this street address control. Now if I submit the form and if I expand this ng form object, now you will notice that this touched is true and this untouched is false. That's because this form is touched now. One of its controls had been focused. So when you want to do something, when a form is touched, you can use this touched or untouched property of this ng form object. For example, let's say whenever this form is touched, that means whenever one of its control is focused, we want to set some shadow for this form container. So if I go to VS Code, there we are displaying that form container using this section. And for that, the class is container. Now what I want is when this form is touched, that means whenever one of its control is focused, we want to set some shadow for this section. For that, if I go to appcomponent.css, there I have created this CSS class called form shadow and I want to add this form shadow CSS class dynamically on this section element whenever the form is touched. So first of all, here I'm going to use the ng class directive and to this ng class directive, we need to assign a TypeScript expression. Here we need to assign an object. In that object, we need to specify what CSS class we want to add or remove. In this case, I want to add this form shadow CSS class. So we need to pass this as a string. So within these single quotes, I'm going to specify the CSS class name. After that, we need to use a colon and then we need to specify a TypeScript expression which should return a Boolean value. If that expression returns true, in that case, this CSS class will be added on this section. But if it returns false, in that case, this CSS class, it will not get added to this section. So here I want to set the value stored in the touched property of ng form. Now we have that ng form inside this registration form template reference variable, because if you notice to this registration form template reference variable, we are assigning this ng form. So it is going to store an instance of ng form class. It is going to store an object of type ng form. So let's make use of this. So here I'll say registration form dot and it will have a touched property. So if the form is touched, in that case, we want to set this CSS class for this section. If I save the changes and if you go to the web page, let me clear everything here. So initially you will not see any shadow here, but if I click inside any of these controls, for example, inside the street address, and if I click outside, you will see that there is some shadow added to this container. So this is a simple use case to demonstrate how we can use the touched property of ng form object. Now, just like this form has a touched and untouched property, 
if I click on the submit button, you will notice that this ng form has been logged and it has a touched and untouched property. In the same way, each form control in this form will also have an untouched property. So if I expand this controls property there, let's expand one of the controls. For example, let's expand this first name control. And if I scroll down there also, you will see that we have this touched property, which is currently false because this first name has not been focused. And we also have the untouched property. Okay. And this untouched property will be true because as I said, since this first name text box has not been focused, it is not touched. This form control will be considered touched only after it has been focused. So currently, since it, this first name form control has not been focused, its touched property is false and its untouched property is true. But let me clear the console here and let me click inside this first name control. And now let me submit. And now when I expand this ng form, there if I expand this controls and there if I expand this first name control, now you will notice that touched is true because this first name input element has been focused and untouched is false. So if form control is considered as touched, if the form control has been focused for a touched form control, its untouched property will be false and its touched property will be true. Then for a form, we also have a property called dirty. Now, a form is considered as dirty if any one of its control value has changed. For a dirty form, its dirty property will be true. In the same way, each form control also has a dirty property. So, a form control is considered as dirty if that form control value has changed. So, currently, if I focus inside this first name text box, this form will be considered as touched because one of its control has been focused but it will not be considered as dirty it will be considered as dirty only if the value has changed from its previous value for example if i type something inside this first name now the value of a form control has changed and since the value of a form control has changed the complete form will be considered as dirty okay so if i clear the console here if i click on the submit button and if i expand this ng form now you will notice that this dirty property is true because one of its form controls value has changed. But let me refresh the page here. Let me clear the console. And if I only focus inside this first name text box and if I don't change its value. So if I don't enter anything inside this first name text box and now when I click on this submit button, the form is touched because one of its control has been focused. So this touched property will be true and untouched property will be false. But its dirty property will be still false because none of its form controls value has changed. Okay, in the same way, on the control level also, so if I expand this controls object and let's say if I expand this city form control, there the dirty property for that city form control will also be false because the value has not changed. We have not changed the value of this city form control. But if I enter something inside this city, for example, let's say London. Okay, let me clear this console here. And now when I click on this submit button and if I expand this ng form and there if I expand this controls property and there if I expand this city form control, you will notice that there now the dirty property will be true because the value for the city form control has changed. So a form control will be considered as dirty if that form controls value has changed. And if any one of the form control is dirty, that means the complete form is dirty. So in simple terms, if any of the form control value changes, that makes the complete form dirty. And one of the use cases where we can use this dirty property is when we want to use can deactivate route card. So in the routing section, we learned that we can use can deactivate route card if we want to allow or restrict a user from navigating away from the current route. And one of the use cases where we can use a can deactivate route card is when the user has filled up the form and without submitting the form, he's trying to navigate away. In that case, we can use this dirty property to check 
if the form is dirty that means if the user has inputted something inside any one of the form controls and if the user has not saved the changes we can use this dirty property to check when the user is trying to navigate if the form is dirty we will ask user whether he really wants to navigate away or he want to save the changes first so this is one use case where we can use this dirty property of this ng form object so i hope now you know what is the use of the dirty property and what is the use of the touched and untouched property of a form in the same way we have other properties like disabled so if the form is disabled in that case this disabled property will be true otherwise it will be false and this enabled property will be true if the form is enabled so currently the form is enabled but this enabled property will be false if the form is disabled then we have other properties like valid so if the form is valid that means when we use validation on the form controls and in each form control if the user has entered a valid value in that case this valid will be true otherwise if any of one of the form control has an invalid value in that case this valid property of this ng form will be false and we will understand this valid property in great detail when we will talk about form validation this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day